Morning, everyone. So, uh, yeah, I'm one of the public engagement leads at UKRI. I'm just going to share my screen. I've got a few slides just to provide a little bit of context for, in particular, why we're interested in um, citizen science and, and some of the work that's been happening at UKRI. But it's great to see so many people joining us um, and, and had a great response to, to this event. So it's really nice and heartwarming to see the interest in, in citizen science and participatory research in this way of working, um, because this is something that UKRI have been very interested in over the last uh, few years. Um, some of you may be aware that we had a, a vision for public engagement uh, that was launched in 2019 and citizen science was a key part of that. Um, and then uh, more recently, early this year, uh, UKRI launched uh, a new strategy. And it was really great to see part of that strategy. Uh, there were four principles and one of those principles was engagement and that includes all types of engagement, but you know, public engagement is a key part of that. Um, and breaking down the barriers between research, innovation and wider society, involving a broad range of people and organisations in the design and delivery of research innovation, you know, are, are part of that principle. And that's really great for the work that we're doing in public engagement. Um, and that has enabled us to now build on that and develop a, a strategy for public engagement at UKRI, which is going to be coming out uh, towards the end of November. Um, and, you know, a lot of that strategy development has been informed by the work um, we've done over the last few years, including work we've done in citizen science. Um, and a key principle, a key, sorry, goal of that public engagement strategy is around making sure that the benefits of research and innovation are shared widely by prioritizing collaboration and valuing diverse forms of knowledge and expertise. Um, so the idea is that, you know, collaboration leads to better ideas, better research and innovation. Uh, and what we want to see in public engagement is that, you know, the knowledge and expertise that's held within those people that don't work within research innovation is also included in that. Um, you know, we want to see that collaboration um, going across the board uh, and for the research innovation to be system, to be a porous system um, that, that brings that knowledge in, but also recognises it where it happens elsewhere outside of that traditional sector. Um, so that's a key part of um, the public engagement strategy and one of the main goals, um, alongside other things about, you know, Bringing, making sure that research innovation is relevant and accessible um, and creating opportunities for young people um, to see the, the relevance of uh, research innovation to them. So as I said, we've done a lot of work on citizen science over the last three years. Um, and, uh, you know, a key part of that is is kind of developing different forms of methods and supporting that uh, and, and, and exploring these methods of citizen science and participatory research and how they put the public at the heart of research process. So they give everyone an opportunity to directly contribute to research and explore citizen science um, approaches. Um, so we've run three major citizen science programs uh, in that last three years since 2019. Um, and you're going to hear from some of those projects today um, at, at various points. Um, so first of all, in 2019, we had 28 projects that we funded through the exploration grants. Um, and uh, over the summer, we shared some of the evaluation that um, the Institute for Community Studies did around that. Um, and we'll be talking, they'll be talking a little bit about that later on. Um, and then we did the collaboration grants, five citizen science collaboration grants, um, which aim to spread methods among the research community. So it's not just about science, it's also about other disciplines and participatory research. Um, and we've been working with the Institute for Community Studies to support those projects. Um, and then more recently, um, partnering with the Food Standards Agency, um, we've been funding six projects around food safety. Um, and, you know, you'll get, to, like I said, you'll get an opportunity to explore all of these uh, over the next uh, few hours. So, with these projects, we've been learning so much about what works, what doesn't work, how we can support citizens um, working with researchers. And it's been informing our thoughts and plans for the future in terms of that PE strategy. Um, and also some of the more recent funding that we've launched around um, community led approaches to research. So over the summer, we launched a community research networks funding call. Um, and then in September, the community knowledge fund. And all of this citizen science work has helped to inform how we've um, taken those processes forward and how we can really bring the community forward and, and help enable them to lead on stuff. Um, so today, um, you know, with 
with the FSA and ICS, we want to open up a much wider conversation. We want to bring others into this um, and hopefully get your experiences um, and, and some of the challenges you might have um, and successes you might have had uh, working in this way uh, into the conversation. Um, we're interested in expanding this as a way of working and, and, and for a way that people might want to work slightly differently to what they've worked before, um, but making sure that things are done equitably and ethically um, and think about how this relates to other participatory research approaches. Um, we want to see how it can benefit across multiple disciplines in research um, and also see how it, you know, it benefits across society. And just on that note, one thing that we are very conscious of is the citizen's voice and their experiences of these types of approaches. Um, you know, this work is all about valuing all forms of expertise, knowledge and ideas um, and including that of citizens. So um, we want to highlight that, you know, this is this is an important experience and we're trying to make sure that we capture that through the evaluation that we do, but also the conversations we are having. So although this event is primarily aimed at researchers, funders and policy makers, we have tried to include the voices of citizens today. Um, and we've done that in various various ways, you know, supporting them to attend um, and including them in other ways. Um, but that can sometimes be challenging. Um, but with the support packages that we've got wrapping around the projects that we're funding that's enabling us to make sure that their perspectives are helping to shape how these projects run and what we do in the future.